Hey everybody, this is Brian with Seafoam Official. This is a quick video about lawnmowers. This is the, like the best tip I could possibly give anyone about how to always, I mean always keep your lawnmower running strong without ever having problems. The first thing to understand is how fuel works. The problem with lawnmowers is gasoline can form heavier fuel gum and it can form sticky varnish and this Gum and varnish restricts carburetor passageways. That's the first thing to understand. It's not about carbon deposits or anything like that. It's about fuel gum and sticky varnish. The next thing to understand is that every modern lawnmower has a four-stroke gasoline carburetor intake engine, whether it's a professional riding lawnmower or it's a a tractor lawnmower like this one or a push mower like this one. All of these engine systems work the same. They have a carburetor and the way the carburetor works is fuel, gasoline comes from the fuel tank through a series of carburetor circuits. So the first thing it passes through is a needle in a seat into a float bowl and then it passes through a carburetor jet and then through a narrow fuel nozzle where the air intake pulls that fuel mixture into the upper engine where you have combustion. And so what happens is any, anywhere in those carburetor circuits, particularly in the carburetor jets, you can get gummed up fuel or varnish that restricts the fuel from flowing. So what happens with sea foam is when it's mixed with gasoline, and it, and it uh, gets in contact with gum and varnish, it liquefies it back into the fuel phase so it can burn. And it clears out all those restrictions so you don't have problems like hard starting or rough running or bad idle, stalling, uh, loss of power, all those things. If you run seafoam in your fuel all the time or and or every, like maybe twice a year you run a high concentration through your fuel, you should never, ever have engine problems with a carbureted lawnmower. Just totally avoidable. Um, and, if, and if you want to test what I'm, my advice here, just do it and see what happens. So that's all there is to it. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.